introduce yourself. My name is Jordan Johnson. I am a student at WSU um, online. I do integrated strategic communications. Um, I work at the Employment Security Department, so Washington State Unemployment, um, help people with their unemployment claims. Um, and after college, I want to definitely do something else. <laughs> what is it that you do, or that we're gonna show you doing? Okay, so today you guys are gonna see um, a fluid painting. So fluid. What is fluid painting? Fluid painting is um, a technique with painting. Basically, you put oil, glue, and uh, water into the paint to make it thinner, and then it sells up and separates, and it makes cool designs. What is your process? How you do it is um, you add water, glue, and um, the color of a paint you want all in separate cups. So you'll do glue, water, glue, water, glue, water in each cup along with the color, just one color per cup. Um, mix it all together and then you'll add the silicone, silicone oil um, and then you'll pour it on the canvas um, and it will separate in the design you want. So you can pour it in like circles, you can pour it in lines and then they will blend together. Um, if you're doing a little one, not very long, um, but if you do like really big ones, it could take like probably an hour. Um, and that's just like to get the paint prepped and pour. Drying time, like a day or two to let them just sit and dry. Okay, what is the most difficult part of fluid painting? The most difficult part of fluid painting is the fact that you don't know if it's going to turn out good. <laughs> um, it's sometimes they don't separate well with the oil um i think it's probably because of the type of paint you get like the brand of paint you get but if you're like mixing i never mix brands of paint just because i've had experiences where it just looks super janky and cracked um generally they turn out okay but sometimes you just wake up you went to bed with one thing and you woke up and it's completely different <laughs> that you never know what you're gonna get. They turn out really cool 90% of the time. Um, I like them, they're calming, and they're unique, and you can't really control how it turns out, and I think that's cool. How did you get introduced to it? I saw a video on Facebook, and I was like, that's awesome. And so I did like research for weeks trying to figure out how to do it. Um, and the material was kind of expensive, so I held off, uh, but I kept, like, it kept digging at the back of my mind, so I tried it. And it's kind of expensive to get all the materials at first, but um, it's like buying it all in bulk, kind of, and then you have enough material to make a bunch of them. what inspires you the most about art and painting? I do art because it's a big stress reliever, I guess. It's fun. Um, it helps you like release like your creative energy and not get all like amped up and stressed. You can like put it onto the canvas. Perfect.